today, uh, the menu is a little different than what you usually get at Aliyah. The, we're having a Jaffna food festival, so the food is predominantly or exclusively from the north, the northern peninsula of Sri Lanka. Uh, generally, Aliyah serves food from all over, all over the island, but today we're focusing on, on food from Jaffna. Um, so that's just so I can set some, you know, so you can sort of set your expectations and, and uh, better understand what you're about to experience. We're launching a coloring book, the Alia coloring book, done, done by my good friend and um, favorite artist, yourself. They have been celebrating their uh, 10 years in operation. They have been quite successful and I'm very happy. I found here, uh, it was a very nice ambience. The place is actually very, you can say, it's just a bit compact, but it is actually very friendly. They have very friendly staff. They rece received us in a very good manner. Uh, and on the top of that, I got a very good briefing about the food which in somehow is actually uh, is a mixture between the Indian food and some sort of the, some sort of the Arabic food. Rather uniquely Sri Lankan. You know, if you talk about the way uh, the spices are blended uh, and, and mixed with the, the, the bit of the you know, uh, sliced vegetables, yeah. the salads, yeah. it's a bit different from uh, what the, the people in Tamil Nadu will do. They will actually will cook it. Uh, of course, you, you may also see uh, in the right far end some chutneys, uh, the various chutneys. I think those are fairly similar to what uh, the South Indians will actually cook. It's not my first time. I've been here quite a few times. But today is very special because of the festival. I think the food is very good. The atmosphere is as usual, very nice. But I think the spread is very, very nice. It was very good today. I'm not a specialist of Sri Lankan food. I was not able to enjoy all of it because I couldn't take all of it that is uh, a bit spicy. But I really enjoyed it and especially enjoyed the dessert, which was uh, absolutely fantastic. I even had the chance to add twice. <laughs> it was really nice and very well put together. And, and the collegial atmosphere that was set up. Um, Yudin, fantastic, you know, very, because his personality sets the tone, you know. And of course, Steve has been a gracious host. The, sh the owner of the restaurant, Adi? Abi is very, very gracious host. His, his mother is, I mean, we were all blown away by the fact that she came all the way from Canada, put this together. The experience, the culinary experience has been just, just wonderful. I've been in and out of this restaurant, but never really had the the breath of the dishes that are available in this restaurant because you come and you you have you get one or two favorites and you stick to it and now you really get a chance to to try the different ones and it's it's really good this is uh, probably my first time in a long while trying Sri Lankan food and I must say it's a mixture between all sorts of uh, Indian food that I've usually tried I usually try northern Indian southern Indian food and this is something different. The spread was so big. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff from, uh, what's it called? Appam, which is the dessert, to all the different types of curries. 
Yeah, the crab curry to the chicken curry, and also the uh, what's the name of that dish? The putu, yes, the putu. The putu is also great as well. So I had to fill my plate up twice, full of rice and all sorts of different uh, dalcha and all sorts of different curries as well. Wine pairing was great, well done. Okay, I was uh, also very well uh, surprised uh, about the quality of the wines that were served uh, throughout the dinner. Uh, All together, a very well done job. Congratulations. Even before I came to the western part of the world, I used to cook good food back home too. Okay. Always people uh, come to my home. Everywhere they will say, oh, you cannot beat Parvati's Tosai. It's out of the world. So the same thing my son tells everybody. So uh, there are certain things. Uh, I think even if you tell people, people cannot do it. But I kind of improvise and I add certain other, you know, some ingredients different okay. from other people. Every time it's different. Yeah. So that's why I think it is unique and people seem to like it. So I'm very happy that they've been able to market a Sri Lankan food in Malaysia. So I'm very proud of it as a High Commissioner and I, I wish them all success and hope that they will be doing very well and I'm very proud of them.